Alcohol. Tobacco. Firearms. Death Metal. Hey everybody, it's Luke with Figure Me Out, and today we are looking at the Marvel Legends Black Tom Cassidy from the new Deadpool wave of figures. Taking a look at the packaging, we've got a nice window box there in the front. We've got an image on the side. On the other side, we've got that exact same image, but in reverse. On the top, we have a Marvel logo, which is interesting. On the bottom, we have just a bunch of words and a barcode. And on the back, we've got a nice picture and a read-up. I think it was Jerry Wilson that did the... Uh, editing on these photos at least i follow him on instagram if you haven't check him out jerry wilson he's a pretty interesting guy to follow let's go ahead and take this guy out of the packaging and see what we're working with inside the box and here he is out of the box and taking a look at the accessories first we get this nice little uh staff that he comes with that's pretty cool it's got a little uh skull on the end of it uh it doesn't look like a human skull though it looks like some sort of weird critter skull uh, it's got little fangs on it uh, critter is what we call an animal, uh, a woodland animal here in the south, uh, you know, where I'm from. Anyway, taking a look at the figure himself and, uh, you know, fairly standard uh, Marvel Legend. Um, you know, pretty much does some things good, does some things, you know, kind of how you'd expect. Uh, taking a look at the overall sculpt and paint and everything, I think some of this is new sculpt. Uh, I think some of it is not. Uh, overall, it looks pretty good, though. Um, the only place where there's really paint applied, everything is kind of cast in its own color. There's paint on the belt, which is clean enough. Uh, missed the line a little bit on the top there, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. Uh, and then on the chest, we get this paint, uh, which is this symbol thing. And that does pretty good. It does not continue all the way through the chest as far as you can lean it back. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But uh, other than that, pretty good. The face seems to be all right. Uh, I know nothing about this character, so I don't know if that's what he's supposed to look like, but I assume so. Uh, it's a neat looking haircut at least. He's got a little, you know, mustache and a little uh, goatee looking thing. So uh, definitely looks very evil. I think he's supposed to be a bad guy. Uh, based on the reading uh, in the back, uh, it says he is a nefarious criminal. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that he's a bad guy based on that. Taking a look at the articulation on this guy, it's pretty good. Uh, he can look up all right. He can look down pretty good as well. Uh, you get the smallest amount of attitude, almost none at all. And then you get full rotation side to side, although it does butt up into this uh, collar there. You can flip it around, but you got to kind of finagle it a little bit to get that. At the shoulders, they do a full rotation. They go out a little bit better than 90, which is great. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow comes in you know, pretty good, past 90, so that's all right. Got to hit wrists that hinge down, wrists that hinge up, and they do a full rotation as well. Waist twist right there. There's an ab crunch that goes forward pretty good. There is no clicking on this one. Well, I say that and it clicks, of course. But I haven't been able to get it to click yet. And then it goes back a little bit. So it feels a pretty smooth joint there. So that's good. Uh, I always like it when it's that way. Got the hips that go out about that far. So about average. Kicks forward about 90. So that's pretty good. Kicks back maybe just a little bit. So that's all right. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee. Bends in pretty good. Boot rotation is there. Uh, it's not very effective because it kind of runs into the, the leg sculpt there, but it is there a little bit. And then ankles are hinged to go down, ankles are hinged to go up. They don't really go up very far and kind of force it a little bit, but even that, they're not gonna go forward very much more than neutral. For a size comparison, here he is next to a big guy uh, in Warpath and a little guy in Wolverine. And uh, you can see he's kind of in the middle of the two. And here he is for our standard comparison against the McFarlane Fortnite Skull Trooper in a 7-inch scale. And then the uh, Marvel Legends Bucky Cap. And you can see he's pretty much even with that. So that's it. That's the new Marvel Legends Black Tom Cassidy. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you picking this one up? Uh, got two to build Strong Guy. And uh, Strong Guy is probably worth it. Um, again, I have no love for this character. I have no affinity for it. But it's a pretty good action figure. Um... Utilizes, uh, looks like a lot of reuse uh, on the legs with the bucky cap and stuff. The arms, I think, are new. The chest is new, maybe. Those boots are definitely new. Um, and the face, obviously, the head sculpt's new. So, uh, some pretty cool stuff going on there. Um, everything's pretty clean on this one, you know. Uh, look at them before you buy them. Make sure that yours is good, too. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe. Check me out over on Instagram. Luke underscore figure me out at Instagram.com. Uh, go over there and look at some of those pictures too. We'll post some stuff and we've been posting stuff from this whole wave so far. Uh, and, uh, until we meet again in the meantime, happy collecting.